Hey guys, how's it going? Yay, Star P Service PBX Software Edition can be deployed on the cloud server to provide a single instance cloud telephony system. This video will explain how to deploy the Yay Star P Service PBX Software Edition on AWS from step one. All right, here we go. First of all, we offer 30 day trial license for free with no payment upfront. We can go to our website, yaystar.com, to find the application page, fill in the required information, and submit it. Then we will get into the thank you page. Here we can download the installation pack as well as technical guide. Then after the application is passed, we will receive our activation code for the P-Service PBX software edition from Yaystar or the local dealer. We can use it to activate our system after installation in the configuration wizard on our interface. Now we need to create a virtual private cloud or a VPC for the PBX. To do that, we need to go to the Amazon VPC console and in the right up corner, choose a suitable server location. Please make sure to stay working in the region before finish the installation task. Then in the left sidebar, find your VPCs and click on create VPC. Then in the pop-up window, name the VPC so we can identify it. Then specify IPv4 CIDR block for the VPC and in IPv6 CIDR block, choose no IPv6 CIDR block and set Tennessee as default. Once we're down, click Create VPC. Now we need to further configuration the VPC we just created. Step one is to create a subnet so that we can launch tasks and services in a subnet. On the left sidebar, click on Subnets and then create subnet. Then set up the subnet parameters. First of all, in VPC ID, select the VPC we just created, then name the subnet. Then in availability zone, select a zone in which our subnet will reside or leave the default no preferences to let AWS choose a zone for us. Here we choose no preference. For the last step, we put in the IPv4 CIDR block. Please note, it has matched our configuration in previous steps. After this, we need to set up gateway to guarantee access between the VPC and internet. First, go to Internet Gateways page and click on Create Internet Gateway. Then in the pop-up window, name the gateway. Now, to move on, we need to attach this gateway to the VPC we created. So in the Actions, select Attach to VPC and select the VPC we created in last step for the P-Service PBX software edition. Click on Attach Internet Gateway. To continue, we should create a route table so that network traffic from the subnet can be directed. Here we click on Create Route Table and then in the pop-up table, name the route and select our VPC. Now we click on Create Route Table and then in Actions, choose Added Routes and set destinations as 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 and set target to the gateway we created. When we finish, click on Save. Then click on Subnet Associations. Choose Add a Subnet Associations and select the subnet we created. If we're down, click on Save Associations. Now we have finished the VPC settings, we can start to install the PBX. Log into our Amazon EC2 console. Then go to Instances and Launch Instances. And in the pop up window, choose Community AMIs and put in Yaystar Software Edition in search bar. To find this AMI and click on Select. Then go to Choose an Instance Type. Here we need to assign resource on the AWS according to our PBX capacity. We can set up the memory and CPU according to this table. For the next step, in Configuration Instance Details page, we further configure the instance. First, in Network and Subnet, choose Select the P-Service PBX Software Edition and the subnet we created for it. Then, in Auto Assign Public IP, choose Enable. For the rest of the setting, we can configure as we need, or just keep the default. Then click on Add Storage. We need to allocate at least 50 gigs for the instance here. For the next step, in Add Text page, we can set key value pair. If it's necessary, we can add our text, or we can just leave the default setting and move to the next page. Now we enter Configuration Security Group page. 
Here we set five rules that control the traffic of our instance. First of all, we create a new security group. And then, in type, we choose all traffic. And in resource, select custom and put in 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. To define our resources. When we're finished, click on review and launch. For the final step, select proceed without a key pair in the pop-up window. Select the checkout box of the acknowledgement and then click launch instances. Now that we have finished all configurations, we can go to instances list. The status shows 2x2 two two checks passed. And in public IPv4, we see the IP address. This means that the PBX is successfully deployed. We can log into the Yaystar P-Series PBX software edition with this IP address. Okay, that was how to deploy the Yaystar P-Series PBX software edition on AWS. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to learn more about Yaystar P-Series PBX system, please visit yaystar.com and don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.